So feeling the hips and shoulders on the wall. Step a little bit wide here. As wide as feels comfortable for you, you're likely not going to have the heels against the wall. You have a little bit of space here. But you want to try to find the shoulder blades, at least the bottom of the shoulder blades on the wall. The right toes turn out, the left toes turn in. And notice what's changed already in the orientation of your hips. And maybe even the shoulders. From here, you can have the hands on the hips. You can also take the arms out. Shoulder height is fine. Some people feel more comfortable with their arms slightly below shoulder height. That's fine as well. You're going to watch the tracking of your knee as you bend into that right knee. Notice the alignment of the knee. And then if you feel comfortable here gazing over the right fingertips, you can. Now, notice how this feels compared to, you know, many of you do have done Warrior Two for a whole lot of years. Does this feel any different from the pose that you're usually in? We sort of, you know, create patterns in our bodies over time. For me, I feel like my shoulders are more open here than they probably are when I'm doing my regular warrior two out in the, the room. And if you'd like to go a little bit deeper into this, you can. Make any adjustments that feel like they're asking to be made. And from here, straighten the front knee. And we're going to come into triangle. So you do have the block handy if you want to use the block for your triangle pose. Some of you have a wall right there that you can use. <laughs> Reaching out, lower the right hand down as far as feels comfortable for you. It can be to the shin or to the block or to the floor. And you can take the upper hand to the, sh to the hip. If you'd like to extend that arm up overhead or something akin to that, if that's available to you, that's fine too. And again, find the positioning of the head that feels good for you. So you can gaze up toward the ceiling, straight ahead, or even down toward the floor if that feels better for your neck. Make sure that you're breathing. Notice if your front knee is locked. Notice how it feels to be lying against the wall here. Is this more open than usual? Is it somehow constrained in a way that's different from being in the open space? And then come up, back to warrior two. And release. Let's switch to the other side. 